Well, top of the morning to you all. Today is another paint pouring day, and I thought I'd just try this setup to start with this morning. Uh, got my canvas, and these are the colors I'm going to use. A couple of metallics, and I did this coaster, what was it, yesterday, and um, I'm going to try to copy these colors onto this canvas to see what we can what we can have today in the way of uh, a fun pour. Um, I'll be doing a flip and drag, and I think, hopefully it'll turn out good. I haven't really done a flip and drag before, I don't think. Uh, if there's so many different techniques a guy could use, you get kind of stuck on one after a while. So I like to mix them up a little bit and keep learning. So here we go. I'm going to put the white down and I will be back um, when I'm ready to, to paint. So uh, I'll be back here in a few minutes. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm uh, a little apprehensive about this. I've I've seen how they've done it before. Some people take the cup and flip it right over. Others take um, the, sp the scraper and set it down and slide it. And I think that is what I'm going to do, is uh, do the slider. I'm not too happy about flipping. I'll end up with paint all over my desk over there. So I'm going to fill this cup up and we'll... Uh, We'll, we'll be right back and then we'll do a little flip and slide. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to have to admit I'm just a wee bit nervous. <laughs> I, oh, I think I got my cup very full. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to take this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Turn it upside down on here in hope. To goodness I don't spill it oh for heaven's sakes what have I got myself into if I spill it whoa oh geez Richard well that was fun oh my goodness oh you know what I forgot to do I forgot to poke a hole in that bad boy ah oh, let me go get a pin Goodness, goodness, there's too many things to remember. Give it back, pin. Ooh, it's like puncturing a lung. I breathed on me. Okay. All right, folks. Let's, let's pretend I know what I'm doing. Oh, Richard, you don't know what you're doing. How very bizarre. Well, you know, I'm sure you wouldn't believe me if I told you that's not what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> I think that's just, I think that should be the theme of my pores. Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. Golly, man. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Well, you know, I think somebody in my position should have a pair of gloves on because I can see that we're going to be doing some tipping. Hmm. Okay. Let me put that down. Let me get the... Let me get my uh, flamethrower here. Oh yeah. Oh, this, this is quite interesting, to say the least. Very interesting. Okay, let me get some gloves. If you're still watching this, you're saying to yourself, this guy's not very prepared sometimes, and you would be right. But you know what? That's why they make the fast forward button on YouTube, <laughs> and they also make the delete button. <laughs> uh, yay, yay. Okay. Uh, 
I, oh, I know what I want to do. I'll do this on purpose. I was going to put a little streakies going here. And, uh, All right, a little abstract going there, folks. What did you think I was going to do? Screw it up? <laughs> now, here goes tipping. Well, you, you know, I did get my... Uh, I did get, we'll spit it out, Dick. My uh, metallics came through pretty good. Yeah. Oh, you know, this is exactly what I had planned, right? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Oh, be darn. going to come a little bit in this corner and try my very best not to spill this paint on my shoes. Whoops. You know, the word whoops does not instill confidence in anybody. Well, let's see what that looks like from this perspective. I'm going to use the word interesting. You can use a different word if you want to. Hmm, okay. Let me clean off my hands here a little bit. I don't know if I should tip this anymore. Um, I might get a straw and blow a little bit there, and maybe a little bit right there. I've come to the conclusion I don't like some of the darker colors that stay together. Let me take off my gloves. <clears throat> and uh, get my, my butane buddy here. Just make sure I don't have any. Well, I tell you, the the um, metallics really have popped. Really metallic -y. I like it. On the metallics, I did one to one. I did one, one out. Well, actually, it was half an ounce of metallic paint, which was uh, a full cart metallic, and uh, another half an ounce of uh, GAC 800 made it a little bit really slippery, and it mixed pretty good. I think it makes pretty good. Okay, I'm going to get my straw. And put a little white there. Excuse me, and do a little bit up here.
All right, that gave it a little bit. All right, uh, let's let that sit for a minute. <clears throat> And, uh, and we'll see how the, the colors develop together. And I may take, I don't see any little circles I don't like, so I may not get out my number two pencil. So let's uh, let this sit and I will be back with the final wrap up of what we may have here. And knowing me, I'll probably fill a little bit more while the camera's off. So uh, I'll be back. Okie dokie. I think I'm finished fiddling. You can see I even uh, did a little, mm, yeah, coaster over here with the same colors like I should did my video yesterday. I had a little bit of paint left over, so what the, what the heck, I'll do a coaster. So I've got a matching his and hers, or whatever his and hers. <laughs> anyway, a, a coaster that'll match the uh, the colors in the painting. And I'm going to take this off uh, the stand here and come and show you I've never had this before. It is um, ferny or ferny. I don't know what you'd call it. It's very strange, fern-like um, results. So let me stop this and take it off and walk around the front and do a close-up of this. I'll be right back. All right, here we are around to the front and I'll just do a quickie on my coaster and you see the colors match pretty darn good with the big painting. So this is what I was talking about is this fern stuff. Isn't that cool? Or it's different anyway, that's for sure. It's sort of like um, uh, coral. Yeah, coral. Ooh, part of the Blue Lagoon. Mm. Anyway, the paints turned out what I suspected. Um, the metallics are, are going to look good when they're dry. And it is my first attempt at a flip and drag. So there you have it. Flip and drag extraordinaire. So this is Richard saying thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.